Hey guys, it's Timmy, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Well, the first WWE action figures were created by toy maker LJN in the mid to late 1980s. The toy line was called Wrestling Superstars, and it was created by LJN in 1984 to 1989. The figures were made of solid rubber and paint, and were some of the first sports figures to look as realistic and accurate to real life as their counterparts as these ones did. LJN did close their toy division in 1989, cancelling their deal with the WWF. The last six figures in the line were produced by Grand Toys of Canada and are considered the rarest in the WWF LJN line of toys. Nowadays, collectors search far and wide for an authentic LJN figure, but it looks like LJN could be coming back. Nick Jackson did post this photo on Twitter today, stating the following. Signed a deal with an old toy company that's making a return. You might be familiar with them. Coming soon. Now if we look at this box, the box art that we can see is very reminiscent of those old wrestling superstar figures. Also, if you take a look right here, we do see the LJN logo. It's unknown who actually owns LJN at this time as the old parent company MCA Inc. did sell LJN to Acclaim in 1990 and then Acclaim dissolved LJN in 1995. With the Young Bucks signing this deal with the LJN, could this be just a deal for the Young Bucks? Or could they be setting up something in the future with their proposed All Elite Wrestling? This could be a deal where they sign a bunch of guys to All Elite Wrestling, they get their roster, and then they also get a toy deal for their roster. So we'll see how it all goes, where this LJN deal goes for the Young Bucks, and what it can mean for the future. But that's going to do it for this episode of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.